20 Turniere gewinnen konnte. Er ist der aktuelle Premier League Champion. Er ist der aktuelle Weltmeister. Herzlich willkommen hier in Leverkusen. MVG, Mighty Mike, Michael van Gerwen. Leverkusen singing the name of the world number one. The two stars on the back of his shirt denoting the two world championship titles that Michael van Gerwen has claimed. He is the reigning champion in every single TV major, except the UK Open where he didn't turn up because he was injured, and the Champions League of Darts where he was beaten in the final. MVG has dominated the European Tour over the last few years. He has four times as many titles as the next person on the list. And having seen ton-plus averages from the likes of Dave Chisnell, Michael Smith and Mervyn King for the second game running here at the Happy Bet European Darts Open, it is down to MVG to send out a message to the rest of the field that he is still the man to beat. He is anyway but he likes to underline that point. However, he takes on Rob Cross, a man who has had a dream start to life as a PDC pro. First leg is Rob to throw first. Game on! Rob Cross has won the ball and he will throw first against the world number one, Michael Van Gogh. And as these two duke it out for a place in the quarterfinals of the Happy Bet European Darts Open, I'm Dan Dawson and Paul Nicholson is sat alongside me for this one. 134. Well, if you aren't looking forward to this, you don't like darts. As simple as that. Because Michael Van Gerwen, just look at him. Game face on from the start. He is not underestimating this guy. I guarantee you that. Well, twice they have met. Rob Cross announced himself in the world of darts by making the UK Open as an amateur qualifier last year. And he was only beaten by the eventual champion, Michael Van Gogh. And he did take five legs off him, though. Was beaten 9-5. He played him for a second time earlier this year, and he took five legs off him again. It was only a first-to-six match. He actually led in that game, Rob Cross. He averaged something like 106, but MVG just edged it with 108 average and nicked it in the deciding leg. Rob Cross says he has learnt from that experience. 82. And he is a better player now than when they met just a few months ago. Can he go and prove it here? Well, he's got a chance to hold throw and go into the lead. I don't think he would have gone for the bullseye. A little smirk suggests that he might have been thinking about it, though. Well, he's got to be smart in this game. The first smart thing he's done is leave 36 after 12. Because sometimes that does give you a chance against Van Gogh. On this occasion, it does. Double 18, a 13 dart start will be very nice, and it is the first leg. perfect start to throw first. from. I was going to insert nickname there, but there doesn't seem to be anything yet. We haven't got one yet. 140. I'm sure, one will develop over the course of time. Rob Cross is one of the only things he's lacking. He's got the confidence. He's got the ability. He's got two PDC titles already. And he's got a 180 to start this second leg. Rob Cross taking the fight to the world number one. 99. Well, if he gets in front of Van Gerwen, he'll have a chance. You get way behind against Michael. I'm sorry, but you're just not going to do it. It's one of those things. It only happens once in a purple moon. 190. I like Warren Parry, and I think it might have happened once or twice on the Pro Tour, but... Michael Van Gerwen gets in front of you. Yeah, toast. Rob Cross understands 
that this is a battle and he wants to have a lead and then give himself just one shot to nice take this ball. match. Mike Lee McGuire, 126. Bullseye for MVG. Misses, hits the 25. Rob Cross looking at 108. This for a 12 darter and a break of throw and a 2 0 lead. These are the kinds of shots that you have to take against Michael Van Gerwen. And knowing that puts more pressure on it. But is he feeling any pressure, Rob Cross? He will do this. Stare at that double. Give himself a moment. Try and compose himself. Double 16. It's there. 108 check out. 2 0 Cross. Third leg is Rob to throw first. Well, if you wanted proof as to how good this guy is, you've Demo. just got it. Because you mentioned, Dan, they're the kind of shots that you can sometimes get against the world number one. It's all well and good giving yourself it. You've got to take it out. And that was clinical. 36. It was clinical. He just kicks off 36. And this is the thing with Michael Van Gerwen. You know, he, he playing against any other player in the world, those 108 checkouts and things what like that. They are difficult, but they're even more difficult against Michael Van Gerwen because you know what is coming. Well, the only person who isn't worried right now is the barber. <laughs> nice. Mind you, I have seen one hair. Yeah. On Rob Cross's head. It must be a stray. It must be a stowaway. What a... Yeah, Rob Cross got a sort of Homer Simpson vibe going on right now. More like it. Well, let's hope he's not pulling his hair out at the end of this match. 135. Uh, right now, he's loving it. Oh, Van Gerwen. When you put him up against it, when you do make Van Gerwen go behind, he finds the extra gears. And he does it so consistently. It's always there. 50 ready seven. to just be produced by MVG. This for an 11 data. Double 16 for a 12. Game shot on the third leg. Easy. Like easy. The the MVG breaks straight back. Game on. That's the way to do it. And he's probably enjoying the fact that he doesn't have to play his best friend today. Yesterday he played Vincent van der Voort, which I'm sure... 97. Even though he played very steadily for him and a 6-0 victory, he just thinks yeah, it's easier playing against people that you don't spend your personal time with and generally laugh with every single day of the week. 51. Mind you, the amount of time the dark players spend together, you can classify them pretty much all as friends these days. Well, they'll certainly be running into each other on a number of occasions, you would think. Rob Cross, this is his third meeting with MVG, yet to claim a win, but he has beaten 17 of the world's top 20. Only Gary Anderson, Phil Taylor and Michael Van Gerwen have not been beaten by Rob Cross in his brief PDC career, but that is a second maximum for the Sussex man. 140. Rob Cross is going to need a ton plus here. Again, he's got to give himself the opportunity. Needs to stay on the 60. Needs to stay there again. Needs to find one just to leave a finish. 60. Mike Lee Reguel, 124. Now Van Gerwen doesn't have to go for the bullseye. He can just lay up. 92. Classy darts from the World War One. the last couple of legs. Well, 13 data, 12 data for Rob Cross, 12 data, potentially 13 data for Michael Van Gerwen here. Cross, oh, sliding into the trouble five, five there. Double 16, we've got a level game once more. Michael Van Gerwen was asked a question at the start of this one. Game and he is responding four, emphatically. 2-2. Two, two. Good leg is Rob to throw first. Game on. Oh, well, what's going to come next? Rob Cross has still got the throw in the vital odd legs. And another 180 signals the phase two of this match is going to be just the same as phase one. Well, this nice is fight. captivating here. The happy bet European darts open. Michael Van Gerwen, the greatest player in the game right now, averaging 110. Rob Cross, 100. arguably enjoying the greatest ever debut season in PDC Darts, averaging almost 109. 140. Rob Cross says that every 
week that goes by, every game that he plays, what he gets heard? wiser. He learns more about how to handle being a top PDC darts pro. 139. Superb set up from Michael Van Gerwen. But 1-2-1 one, one for Cross to go back into the lead here. Looks at the 11s. Bullseye. 3-2 yeah. Ross Cross, Ross Cross Ross with a check out. Ross Cross. We had a feeling this could be rather good. This is better than that. I'm going to see it right Not now. It's three. very good because I've got a sneaky feeling it could get even better than this. It did go all the way to a deciding leg when these two met earlier on this year on the Pro Tour. 136. Michael Van Gerwen beat him in Wigan. It was back at the end of April. It was in a board final. 100. Rob Cross is comfortable playing these kind of games against great players, isn't he? He doesn't feel like he's out of his depth. He feels like this is his destiny. 100. And he has hit four 180s in five and a half legs. Rob Cross... 138. He just does not look phased. Van Gerwen manages to leave 170 and he might be forced to take it out because Cross is going to be very handily placed. And having already taken out 121, 145. it is far, far less. Well, He's only looking at touch. What a setup shot. And MVG won't take out the 170. And this is for another break of throw from Ross Cross and to go 4 well, 2 up. 40. Takes his time. Looks at his target for 13 daughter. He'll take 15. Needs it. Doesn't get it. Might and as good as the one to one finish on the ball was, that's the opposite. He gifts a chance to MVG for 3-3. Three, three. Will he spurn it? Yes, he 19. will. Rob required 20. Wow. Rob Cross. Double ten is what he wants. He has missed three darts for this leg already. Van Gerwen doesn't give you many chances, but if he gives you any, you have to take them. And Rob Cross right now is doing exactly that. Something that we've known for some time, Dan, is that when Elmer Polka is doing the introduction at the start of the day, Peter Ray gets his usual rapturous reception. 43. And home nation qualifiers get a great reception. When he mentions Michael Van Gerwen, the world number one, two-time world champion, there are boos that go around this arena. There are, but then curiously, as soon as the walk-on starts for MVG whenever he's on, they're chanting his name and everything. It is, it is very strange. Michael Van Gerwen is in the strange position whereby people want to see him play. They want to see him do incredible things and break records. And it's something he does on a regular basis. But... He is still the top dog, and people like an underdog. People like to see shocks. Oh, what they really want to see are shocks against the best players in the world, and they're doing extraordinary things, like averaging 108 and 111, which is what we've got here in Leverkusen in the final match of the afternoon. The best game of the tournament so far. There could be plenty of legs to go. Good counting from Van Gerwen, leaves a finish. Well, this could end up being one of the best games on the European Tour this year. It could be one of the best games on the European Tour since its inception in 2012, because Rob Cross fearlessly taking the game to Michael Van Gerwen. Nice leaves himself 160. Well, That's a little bit easier than the 167, but MVG gets a poke at it first. Good shot from Van Gerwen. This has got the same vibe as the game with Kyle Anderson in Vienna last year. 160. That would have been some shot. Really would have been. But Michael Van Gerwen has missed a few goals. He's only two out of seven. Double five. Oh, my word. MVG misses three more darts a double. And this for a 5-2 lead for Rob Cross to put the world number one on the brink. Double five. Fifteen. Sometimes it's brilliance that makes great, great games, but sometimes it's missed doubles that give drama. 
Three. doubles from the world number one. Rob, you require five. It the is. world number one's got two left, and the sensation's got five. It is seven consecutive darts missed at double by Michael Van Gogh. Yes. And Rob Cross Rob makes Rob him pay. He made him pay two for Rob Cross. He only needs one more leg to take another big name off his list of top 20 Whoa. players he has beaten in his short PDC career. And it's the big one. The world number one. It's the big G's. He looks hungry for G's as well. And if he does get through this game, he will be in a rematch with Mervyn King, a guy that he beat to 59. get his first title on the Pro Tour. Rob Cross, I guarantee you, is not even thinking about that game just yet. He is just thinking about the 401 points he has to see off in this leg. 59. Missed opportunity. Michael Van Gerwen. Can he turn this around? So often he has been able to do that. 140. Against anybody in the world. 6-0 down to Darren Webster in the semi-finals of the Players' Championship Finals. Reeled him in. He was trailing massively in the match play in the quarterfinals against Ian White. Whoa. Turn that one around. He has done it time and time and again. Mervyn King, of course, in the Grand Prix final when he reeled him in nice. from behind to claim his first big PDC title. Michael Van Gerwen finds the extra gears, but he's missed seven consecutive darts a double. And Rob Cross is well, down to a finish. Michael Van 106. Will he get a look at it? 86. Double 16. 74. He's got 108 for the Rubio match. 108. And if my memory serves me right, he's already hit this in the second leg to go 2 0 up. He went on the 19s route and took out double 16. This for a 6 2 victory over Michael Van Gogh in double 16 for Rob Cross. He stands there and laughs and he does not know. He does this all the time. Does he hit it? He does! What a display! Rob Cross. Rob Cross! A sensational victory! He has knocked out the world number one, a 17-time winner on the European Tour. Both men averaging 102, but Rob Cross punishes the mistakes of MVG and books his place in the quarter-final. Another name is ticked off his hit list. He has beaten the best player in the world. Only Gary Anderson and Phil Taylor remain in the top 20, who are yet to be beaten by Rob Cross. And with the way that this man is playing and the confidence he has, could you rule out Rob Cross going and claiming the Happy Bet European Darts Open title tonight. He will take on Mervyn King in the fourth quarter final. That is our last eight set up. It's Sulevich versus Henderson. Chisnell v Wright. Gerwin Price against Michael Smith and Mervyn King against Rob Cross who has just pulled off a phenomenal victory against the best player in the world and is three games away from his first Euro Tour title. We'll grab a few words with Rob and our MC Elmar Polka. We will return at 7 o'clock local time tonight here at the Ostermann Arena in Leverkusen. But the afternoon session has been rounded off with a stunning display from Rob Cross. And Michael Van Gerwen crucified by Cross. I missed a few doubles at vital times and I was lucky that Michael let me off at the same time. Um, it, as I come here and Germany's fantastic, everything by experience, um, I'm getting more comfortable and he's saying, he's saying what I've, you can't buy, it's, it's, it's only what you can get. So um, the more and more I'm doing it, the more and more I feel comfortable. Before, before I joined the PDC this year, I played nothing. So. Um, it's a big eye-opener, and it's getting better. I'm really impressed the way you are playing, how relaxed you are on stage. That It looks so, so easy. It looks so, so normal. I'm not one, really, to be faced by the player. Um, I'll play the board, and I'll play my game. And in my eyes, if I play my game, I'd, I'll be close to winning every time. Um, but they're all fantastic, and it, it's... it's this year has just been a massive learning curve, as, as well as the, sort of the, the success what I've had. So, um, 
long as I keep learning, keep doing what I'm doing, I think um, we could have great things next year. And I think you've learned a lot. That looked very, very good. Congratulations. Rob Cross, was für ein Kerl.